Good evening and thanks for joining us. More regions of this country are easing up on public health restrictions and allowing people more freedom to get together. The four Atlantic provinces have agreed to a so-called Atlantic bubble. Starting July 3rd, residents will be allowed to travel between Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland and Labrador without having to self-isolate for two weeks when they cross a provincial boundary. Visitors from other Canadian provinces and territories still must self-isolate for 14 days upon arrival. In Ontario, businesses in Toronto and the Peel region have the green light to move to the next phase. That means businesses like restaurant patios, hair salons, pools and indoor malls can reopen. And BC has moved into a much anticipated phase three. More on that in just a moment. This is all happening as an alarming trend begins to emerge in some places. In Ontario, there's been a surge in COVID-19 cases in people under the age of 20. As Eric Sorensen reports, the young may be less susceptible to getting sick, but they can spread the virus to those who are at greater risk. In Toronto, restaurant patios are finally open, haircuts are available, and daycares are lifting restrictions. And across the country, COVID-19 numbers are decreasing. On top of that, it's hot outside. Not surprising then that people are gathering in greater numbers outdoors. But the virus is still with us. The elderly know that. I'm almost 80 years old, so i got to be careful. Young people, however, may be letting their guard down as they socialize more. It's probably not ideal, but also, I mean, I know I personally don't have AC, and it's like 33 degrees today, so I'm not interested in being anywhere else, really. Toronto beaches were filled last weekend with young people. Ontario's premier is worried about them. I'm going to give you a message to the young people. You, you think you, aren't, you can't catch COVID. Um, you, you can uh, catch COVID. The number of COVID-19 cases is falling nationwide, down 27% last week. But the age distribution is changing. The median age has fallen from 52 in April to 40 in June. The share of cases among adults aged 30 to 59 has remained consistent over time. But while Canadians 60 and over comprised 36% of the cases early in the outbreak, that fell to 23% by last week. While the share among young people up to age 29 has expanded from 19 to 32% over several weeks. The great outdoors can alleviate the spread, but an active virus this summer could be a springboard to a second wave. We should enjoy the summer while we can, because when the fall comes, there's a real concern that things will start to heat up again. And if young people are indifferent to the spread, epidemiologists worry they'll be a source of increased transmission. Young people, though they're less likely to have a serious reaction to this disease, are highly likely to spread it to those who will have a bad reaction. It's one thing to be non or less vulnerable, but what that comes with responsibilities. That means protecting those who are more vulnerable. And there is a blunt warning to young people and others. If they widen the spread of the virus, Ontario's Premier says he'll move to shut down the beaches this summer. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto. Part of one region of Ontario is still stuck in stage one of the reopening plan. Windsor, Essex, across the river from Detroit, has more than 1,300 cases of COVID-19, including several outbreaks on farms. Premier Ford says most of the region will move to phase two tomorrow, with the exception of Leamington and Kingsville. To reduce transmission on farms there, there's a plan to expand on-site testing with a guarantee no workers will lose their jobs if they test positive. Access to employment benefits and support and new guidance to allow asymptomatic workers to keep working safely without passing the virus on. British Columbia is transitioning to phase three of its reopening plan. BC residents are now clear to travel throughout the province. There was never an official ban, but people were asked to avoid unnecessary travel. Provincial parks and campgrounds are reopening and more hotels are expected to as well. British Columbians are encouraged to take staycations this summer to support the tourism and hospitality industries. Though the public health officer says precautions need to continue to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Sunday on Coronavirus, the new reality. I want to give her a hug, but I can't. COVID rewrites the minor sports rule book. Not only are we missing the game, he's also missing the interaction with his best friends. The new look of post-pandemic play, Sunday at 7 on Global.